Hi everyone. Before now, I have published a presentation on prednisone, and there I have made mention of prednisone as metabolite of prednisone. But today I'll be going deeper into similarities and differences between prednisone and prednisolone. Relatedness. Prednisone is metabolized to prednisolone in the liver. So prednisone is the precursor, while prednisolone is the metabolite. Both are glucocorticoids, specifically synthetic glucocorticoids. They are both anti-inflammatory agents and could be used for a wide range of conditions. You can check my channel for the presentation on prednisone. You get the list of conditions where you can use prednisone and prednisolone. Efficacy is similar. That is, if there is no liver impairment, you are going to get similar outcome. So, the either could be used in a healthy liver. Let me explain. Either you use prednisone or you use prednisolone, you are likely going to get similar outcome if there is no liver impairment. Meaning, in the face of liver impairment, you will likely get less outcome with prednisone because the liver will not be able to metabolize it to prednisolone, which is the active metabolite. So, you could use either prednisone or prednisolone in a healthy individual with healthy liver. There are similar side effects like growth inhibition, particularly in the children without epiphyseal plate closure. I have explained in details when I publish the presentation on prednisone. Please kindly check out. This is the reason why growth chart will be followed. If a child is on glucocorticoids for a long period of time, both can you know what's in abstention and they can both decrease immunity, leads to weight loss, fluid retention with sodium retention, congestive heart failure, insulin resistance, hence increase in diabetes mellitus, apothalamic pituitary adrenal acid failure leading to adrenal insufficiency. Osteoporosis is possible in both mood changes, glaucoma and cataract, vertigo, headache, diaphoresis, and please don't give live vaccines if anyone is on either of the medication for a long period of time. Vaccines may not be effective if anyone is on either of these medications for a long period of time. They can both mark the inflammatory signs of infection and also mark the signs of allergy in allergy testing. So the doctor will ask you for the history of medications you are taking before embarking on allergy testing. Hepatic enzyme inducers will lead to low concentration of the orally ingested forms of these medications. Now the differences. To start with, liver impairment. Let's check out what's going to happen. There will be profound effect of liver failure on prednisone, but less effect of that on prednisolone except when it's taken per hour. Prednisolone is therefore the better option in the face of hepatic failure. There will be a problem because the failing liver will not be able to convert prednisone to prednisolone, particularly in the face of severe liver failure. So, in hepatic failure, choose prednisolone. Still on differences, when it comes to forms, prednisone is in form of tablet or oral solutions only. 
while prednisolone could come in injectable forms, suspension for oral ingestion and even oral solution, could also be in form of tablet and could be in form of orally disintegrating tablets, that is, orally dissolving tablets. So you could see prednisolone could be given you know, per IV, you know, by ingestion, and you no know, tablet or disintegrating tablet, why prednisone can only be in form of tablets by aura and oral solution. Of timing drops. Only prednisolone is available in solution and suspension for of timing drops. No prednisone of timing. No. Metabolism. Prednisone is the precursor of prednisolone, while prednisolone is the active metabolite of prednisone. Without that conversion, there will be no therapeutic effect. Active or not, prednisone is inactive before metabolism. So if anything happens to the liver, that the liver can't function well, and you administer prednisone, you are not likely going to get the expected therapeutic effect. While prednisolone is the active form that crosses the cellular membrane to exert the therapeutic effect. Therefore, in the face of liver pathology, use prednisolone. Another difference is the brand names. Prednisone could come under the brand names mostly as Zetasone or Reus. While prednisolone could be under Prelon, Milipred, Orapred, or ODT, that is orally disintegrating or orally dissolving tablets, and could also come under Predfor. Liver enzyme inhibitors. Medications like fungi can inhibit hepatic enzymes. Here, prednisolone metabolism is inhibited, leading to accumulation of prednisolone in the serum, and thereby increasing the side effects of prednisolone. In the case of prednisone, enzyme inhibition will produce no metabolic effect, meaning if there is no conversion by the hepatic enzymes to prednisolone, then there's no, no therapeutic effect. Unlike prednisolone, if there are loss of hepatic enzyme in betas, there will be accumulation of prednisolone in the serum. So more therapeutic effects, more side effects. The reverse is the case in prednisone. Without the enzyme metabolizing and converting into active metabolites, there is no therapeutic effect. With that, I come to the end of this short presentation. So there is no confusion between prednisone and prednisolone. You can revise and rewind, and you get the entire picture again. Thanks for listening. Remember to share. Remember to subscribe. I appreciate it.